So this week we are going to cover art as spectacle and uh, week nine already. Isn't that something? <clears throat> uh, so there's a chapter in your book called Art as Spectacle. So read that. And then I put the definition of spectacle from the um, dictionary here. It is something exhibited to view as unusual, notable, or entertaining, especially an eye-catching or dramatic public display. It can also be an object of curiosity or contempt. So this will be uh, our topic for the artwork that we'll be looking at. Um, we're gonna do it a little differently this week. Um, usually how I do a PowerPoint and go over the artist. Well, this week, um, you're going to uh, do research on the artist. Um, I have some videos and websites for you, which I'll, we'll take a look at. <clears throat> and then you have two homework assignments. One is a spectacle discussion forum. So I want you to find uh, artwork that you would consider falling under the topic of spectacle. And this time, usually I make it <laughs> be from the um, artist resource link, but you, anything you can find um, on the uh, in, in, in anywhere, just cite where you got it from. So um, <clears throat> the, that part, and then the next part is a written part where let's just go ahead and pull it up. Oops, that should not be open. Okay, anyway. Um, so let's see here. Okay, so you have uh, this grid um, that you can fill in. Here are the artists that I'm going to give you information on. Uh, review the artists from the Word document, Artist Spe Spectacle Artist List. For each artist, watch the attached videos and visit the sites provided. In addition to if your own research, if you wish to look up more, you can. Um, consider why these artists might fit with this week's theme and complete the grid as seen below. Minimum 300 words total for everything of your own words. So don't copy and paste about the artist. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at the videos and <clears throat> come up with your own opinion about why they would fit into artist spectacle. If you think they don't, you can write that too. Um, and uh, that is your homework. So we have... So you can use this to fill out. Um, let's go back. Let's see. Think. Um, let's see. <clears throat> oh, okay. Let's go back. <clears throat> let's see here. Um, okay. <laughs> So take it back to where I want to go. Yes, okay. Well, it's not as big today. <laughs> or, <coughs> excuse me, lesson. So um, here, here's the two assignments: the uh, written one, the 300-word written one, and the um, discussion. And then up. Okay, go back. Go back. <clears throat> Sorry, this is not going how I want it to. Okay, here we go. Um, resources. I thought I had it open already, but here we go. Okay, so um, you, uh, I still seem to be good. If for any reason, sometimes the link will, you know how they change them. Um, you can just look up the artist. But the first artist is called Blue. And um, there's a video that I highly recommend. And then here's their website. You can look up that information. And I just checked Mabel should open. This next, next artist, um, he's an artist spectacle. But I think he could also fall under the topic art as confrontation when we cover that. Because his work is very confrontational. It's hard to take. Um, so there's a video about him, uh, 
And then this artist, uh, students usually, people in the class usually really like her work. Make sure you make sure you watch all of them, but hers is fun to watch. So here's a TED talk about um, Alexa Mead, and then you can go to her website also. There's some cool stuff on there. And Chuck Close, there's a video about him and his work. Clay's Oldenburg, um, he's one of the pop artists. He makes large versions of um, everyday objects. Next is Tim Hawkinson. These videos are very, very short, but uh, take a look, you'll get an idea of what he does. Dale Chihuly, a uh, famous glass artist. If you go on this, this site, um, there are videos, once you get on the site and open it up, then you will find videos that show uh, different uh, installations that he's done. So check that out. <clears throat> and then the last one is Lisa Liu. And there's a video here about her. And she is um, definitely, I think, Paul, it's under spectacle. And she has a very unique way of working. So uh, and you'll take a look at all these. And then you'll go fill out that form. And so this week, rather than me going over the uh, work in the PowerPoint, you're going to check it out on your own and then uh, tell me what uh, why you think each one of these artists was included under spectacle. So that's all we're doing this week, which is actually a lot, <laughs> but uh, that's it for artist spectacle. So I will just repeat, um, repetition is boring, but it does work. So uh, you have a chapter in your book to read, then you will go through and take a look at these um, different artists, the information, the videos and websites, and then um, you will uh, fill out that form. It should be 300 words total, minimum, and uh, you uh, should not copy and paste. You should use your own writing. Um, and you will go and you can look through, um, you can look through the art we've already done or, um, you know, other or the art resources. You can definitely use those, but you can also uh, go outside of that too and find an artwork that you think is uh, an example of spectacle. So um, let me know if you have any questions. I have not graded the midterm yet. Uh, I should be doing starting those tomorrow. And uh, uh, that is, that's it for this week. So have a great week.